Today's video is made possible by A Data, makers of the new XPG series of gaming memory. They've got your color, they've got your speed, A Data. Tech fans, you asked for it, now we're bringing it to the table for you. The new NVIDIA GeForce GTX 760 in SLI mode. Last week, we brought you guys the review of the reference card. Now we're bringing you SLI with two of the partner cards. We're using both the EVGA Superclocked Edition featuring their ACX cooling, and we're also using the Gigabyte featuring their WinForce cooling. Now to do so, and to get both cards to be accurate, we clocked both cards to 1150 50 megahertz for the boost clock so that both cards would match up. Now with that said, you guys know we're still using the i7-3770K as our CPU. We're using an SSD obviously for our boot drive, Western Digital, lots of memory and stuff. You guys can see the test station. If you guys are interested in all that stuff, you guys can see a link down in the description below. With that said though, let's jump in and let's check out the benchmarks and see how these cards do. All right, folks, so there you guys have it. These cards in SLI head to head against some of the competition. Now, you guys can see that these two cards are faster than a GTX 780, but a GTX 780 is gonna offer you a lot more flexibility and a lot less power requirements. But the positive side of things will be that these cards also cost $520, that's right. So you get a set of cards for $520 that actually beats a GTX 780 right out of the box. Now, if those things like using more power and heat, they're like totally irrelevant to you and you just want raw power, then you guys might seriously wanna check out getting a pair of these cards and putting them in SLI mode because you guys can obviously see they kick ass. In Crisis 3, 2560 by 1440 almost completely double. So that means, you know, if you've got high screen monitors or you want to use multi monitor technology, a pair of these cards is definitely going to be right up your alley. Now, one last thing I do want to mention because to some people it matters, to some people it doesn't. Like if you were in Germany and I didn't mention this, you'd be like, you really suck ass as a reviewer. And that is noise levels. Two of these cards are definitely going to run much louder than a GTX 780, but there are ways around that. You can take a pair of these things and water cool them and then all those things are eliminated and you can crank the shit out of them. These are just options for yourself to think about. Now, one last thing, folks, before I bounce the hell out of here, I wanna give a special shout out and thanks to the people over at A Data and providing us with their new XPG memory. We were actually able to get our hands on a couple of different eight gigabyte kits, one at 2400 megahertz and one at 1600 megahertz, one One's gold, one is kind of gray, they look pretty cool. We also have a hands-on about this stuff, so if you guys wanna check out the full review on that, make sure you guys check out the link down in the description below. Also, for pricing and availability of both these two cards and other models of GTX 760s, take a look down at the link down below the like button. And now while you're down there by the like button, you guys know what to do and I appreciate it and love you guys for it. So that's it, SLI of the GTX 760s. You guys saw it here on Tech of Tomorrow, if you're not sub, please do so, and we'll see you guys back here on the channel for more tech goodness.